Hey everyone, welcome to our V3 of the Azure Masterclass. Uh, I hope you'll join me through all of the different modules that really builds up this complete knowledge of Microsoft Azure, how to use it, how to architect your solutions to run on Azure and maybe even hybrid solutions where parts of it run on premises as well. The things we're gonna cover as part of this course across all of the modules, we'll start with the basics. What are the clouds? What's the types of service? Some fundamentals around Azure. And then we'll dive into specific aspects, things like identity, our governance. We need to get this in place before we start trying to create services and run applications. Understanding the options that we have available in the cloud, the cost aspects, how to optimize those costs, optimize the resources we're creating. When, how we think about high availability, disaster recovery, how we can migrate services to Azure, because there's a lot of differences in how we think historically about high availability on premises, typically with these big single instances that we rely on hardware to, hey, in the cloud, we like lots of smaller instances and use software to provide that resiliency. So we'll go through that. How we use virtual networks, how we can then extend the connectivity from on-premises into our cloud-based solutions load balancing, and also how I can have external connectivity to the services that we're hosting in Azure. Azure storage, uh, database offerings. Then we get into some of the core compute things where we actually run services, virtual machines, virtual machine scale sets, containers, other types of platform as a service, app services, artificial intelligence. Obviously that's, that's a huge big deal here. So we'll start to look at some specifics around AI, how we handle secrets, how we have keys, cryptographic type operations, monitoring, security, and then infrastructure as code, DevOps type capabilities. So we're gonna go through all of these different concepts over um, this entire course. Now the whole goal of this really is to be kind of with soup to nuts, the start of the meal all the way through to the end. So I want to go from the very beginning, I'm going to lay down some fundamentals and we're going to build in a logical way, adding in the various components until we get that complete knowledge, which is why I'm organizing and ordering the way I am because different things build on other components. So I want to make sure we understand any dependencies before we try and deal with a, a higher type of service. And the goal is by the end of it, you should be able to operate an architect for Azure. I mean, that, that's everything we're trying to do here. Now, this class has evolved over time and it will continue. Technology changes, services change. And I used to run this as just an annual event uh, in person, like a live event. Now, obviously I have this updated every couple of years, but I will update the modules over time. This is obviously a huge refresh. I'm gonna re-record all of them, update all of them for the latest information but I could add or remove potentially over time and update the playlist. I will reference other videos. I will link to deeper dives as part of the handout and the links in the videos if you wanna go and get deeper into certain elements of the information. Make sure you do subscribe and hit the notification bell for when I do make changes, when I do updates. I create a couple of videos every week a lot of them are deeper dives, maybe certification cramps, so I do have all that content. So use the playlist for this course. That gives you that ordered structure to it. And of course, the GitHub repo has code links, the handout for everything uh, we're gonna do. That's the whole goal here. One of the most important things when dealing with the cloud, and I'll talk about cloud cadence, is you have to stay current. I do post a weekly update every Friday, with the latest changes to Azure and some of the entry and other types of capabilities. So it's 10 to 15 minutes. It's an easy way to stay current on what's happening. So, hey, if you just go and subscribe to the channel again, you'll just see that and it's an easy way to stay up to date. Now, one of the questions that always comes up is, is this based around any particular certification? And this is not. I'm not focused on a particular certification for this. My goal is to give you the knowledge to leverage Azure. However, yes, I wanna just teach you Azure, 
but it would help with both the Azure Fundamentals, the Azure Administrator Certification, maybe even the Architect. So it's still going to help with those things. A lot of people find it helps a lot with the Azure Administrator. The content would align quite closely with that. And then a little bit of fun. That's the first year I ran this live, 2014. Well, over 10 years ago. Um, just thought that's a good bit of history. So with that, um, let's get on with the course.